Hey guys! Last year, Benji proposed to me. Now we've got a huge wedding to plan coming up soon on August 12th. Join us while we plan the biggest event of our lives. the gown up with my wedding planner, Sir Linda. Hi. It's nice to have you here. <laughs> I'm gonna you. introduce you. This is Tiffany Cole with Hi, Flowers Tiffany. by Tiffany. Hello. Nice, to, nice to meet you. And she's actually put all our flowers together for you today. Let's go look at it. Yay. Sounds great. Oh, wow. Some are fake. <gasps> so my thought is to kind of show that okay. you can do silks yeah. without making them look I, like silk. So the key is finding out which one. So this is all fresh. This is completely fresh. Yes. This is fresh. This is one of their bouquets that they uh -huh. sent. This is one of their hydrangea blooms, but you know, we do a lot of like tea leaf wraps and stuff oh, with that's greenery. Pretty. So I just, these are all my vases, of course. So I just grabbed it and then put their wrap in. I have some stones in the bottom, which is with one of their little fake blooms. And that's that's weighted down. Actual like fishing weights. Oh wow. That's the only way that you can submerge flowers and keep them Very underwater. Otherwise, cool. the larger the bloom, they'll float right to the that top. That one's a silk? This is silk and this is silk. Oh my gosh. Yep. So yeah. key point, okay. Judy, is knowing what to do to make them look. Right. Yeah. Wow, you did an amazing <laughs> job, Tiffany. I was like, Woo. So what are the benefits of sunflowers? Well, the biggest benefit is the, the time that you can do the flowers, that you can actually do them out of season. You mm -hmm. don't have that price that you would have with fresh flowers mm -hmm. or planning a wedding based on your flower choice. So. Mm -hmm. That would be one of the, the biggest um, pluses, I would say, when it comes to a big event like a wedding. Mm -hmm. One thing I think, especially with um, the summertime, is a lot of my guests have allergies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know, does that happen often at weddings where maybe the bridesmaids are just sneezing the whole time? Or I don't I've, know. Is that well, I've actually done a wedding by request that it had no floral in it whatsoever. It was oh. completely granary. So it was done because oh, wow. The bridegroom and the guests, family especially, they were they had a lot of allergies, so oh. it made it fun for me because it was kind of out of the box. But yeah, yeah. it was still fresh, but it was all greens, so it had no no floral in it because of that Very reason. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with silk. And then, what do you guys think about me? Well, honestly, I don't want to spend too much money on flowers, and I know flowers can be really expensive, especially for you know shipping it in and. Um, what do you guys think? Is it common to have a mix of silk and real? Well, it really, again, it depends on, like you're saying, cost. Cost is a big mm -hmm. thing. Like a Philanopsis orchid is a very expensive orchid. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love this piece. Yeah, absolutely. So this would be a good option because when it's submerged in water like this, it's really hard to tell whether it's real mm -hmm. or fake. So. In something like this, that would be a great piece as far as the centerpiece or even during the ceremony to have um, going down the aisle. Um, you have something like this, even in a taller vase, and you can't tell that it's actually silk. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you want to have some fragrance, if the bride wants texture, the touch, there is some things to be said about fresh. So right. if it works good for you and that's what you want, then you could intermix both, absolutely. Okay. Um, I don't want to be the only one in the world that we're using silks. Is it a new thing? Is it an up-and-coming thing, Lizard Linda? Because you've been doing a lot of weddings. Have you ever worked with any weddings incorporating silks? You know, this is actually, for me, my first experience, but I was really surprised. I have yeah. to be 100% no. honest. When you brought it up to me, I know you guys saw my first reaction was yeah. like, that is not gonna happen. Right. But in looking at them and how they're done, I mean, I've seen these exact arrangements done with real flowers. There's no difference. That's I mean, they, I can't tell you a difference. And if your guests are actually gonna walk up and touch your flowers, there's a little bit of a problem maybe with the guest as opposed to the flowers, so. <laughs> oh, I, I have a Filipino family. They'll be like, whatever, it's pretty, I'm gonna take it home, you know? <laughs> so 
the colors that we have for my bouquet is gonna be, um, it's gonna be an ivory, some green, because you pointed out that green is gorgeous next to purple, because we're gonna have the purple. And um, what was, what's the main flower that's gonna be in my bouquet? Or the, the, like the main three? Well, you've got um, Lysiantus, purple Lysiantus, and mm -hmm. which is very a vibrant purple. Mm -hmm. um, and then you are going with greens and the ivory tone. So mm -hmm. your greens are Bells of Ireland mm -hmm. and some green roses and some purple roses. Um, and so really you're gonna have quite a few different, mm -hmm. different varieties in there. But yeah, they're, it's gonna be gorgeous. for helping me out and um, incorporating the A floral silks is amazing. I wouldn't be able to tell which one was real, which one was fake. So um, they're gonna be supplying most of our flowers for the wedding and thank you for arranging. You're very welcome. I'm so lucky to have these two. So thank you, <laughs> thank you. waterproof mascara number one obviously because it's your wedding and you're gonna cry <gasps> this could be so hard do i have to shine today get the light said i'm here i'll never be gone you just got my bath so baby come with me we can fly away we can watch